Hello, everybody. Grim at CNG Gaming. Today, we're going to do a review of Empyrean Galactic Survival. Now, this game came out a little bit ago. It has come a substantial amount of uh, content in just a little bit of time that it's been out there. So we're just going to dig into the game and we'll go from here and see how you guys like it. All right, so before you start anything, you're going to have your player set up. Player set up, you're going to give your player a name. Usually it's the same name that you have in your Steam account. It follows right over. Check your gender here. You just click on it, male or female. Your main colors, you have all these different colors you can choose from here. I choose black and red. Those are my two colors that I choose for everything, it seems like. Black main body color, red being the extra colors. Uh, here you can choose your skin color, obviously. Same as anything on here, so whatever you want. And your hair color. Change your hair color to whatever you would like. These are pretty much all you have for now. but as it goes on they are going to be able to make it so you can change things here and there make it your own but for right now this isn't too bad for an alpha game actually this is pre-alpha really what it is okay so there's your set up your options uh, obviously you have your video options uh, it does tell you what is supported what's not supported Right now, I do have this set at the 1366 by 768 um, windowed. I can go full screen with it if I would like uh, with the 1920 by 1080, which is normally what I play with. Um, in fact, you know what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll click that now. Then I'll come over here, click full screen. Blam, we're in full screen mode. And we're at the 1920 by 1080. Uh, you have different qualities you can choose from. Best, good, fast. Uh, V-Sync, you can have it checked or unchecked. It's totally up to you. Uh, V-Sync, all it does is it uh, regulates the frames per second. Uh, kind of keeps you roughly your refresh rate of what your monitor is. I'm running it on a 32-inch LED monitor right now so it is what it is uh you can run vsync or, or no vsync it's totally up to you um i run vsync it just like i said it doesn't matter here you have your audio you have music and total volume as of right now that's all you can really control uh the different controls you can invert your mouse change the mouse sensitivity uh here you have your primary and secondary action or buttons for your actions and here you have your forward, backwards, left, right, with W, S, A, and D, up arrow, down arrow, left arrow, right arrow. Here we'll click this down. You can roll left, roll right. That happens to deal with your ship when you finally do get to build one. You can roll your ship left or right. Uh, your jump is your space button. Down is C when you or on your shift and you want to land, you come down, yada yada. Uh, left shift is your run button. Your jetpack, you click J and you can jump up. And I'll show you all these different things as we get to the control. Um, you know, your control panel, your map, creative menu. If you're in the creative mode, you can have a creative menu, which gives you all the abilities to create what you would like. Play the game how you want to play it. Uh, scoreboards, your tech trees, primary and secondary actions, your mouse buttons, preloading, obviously, R. Drop an item if you have it in your hands and stuff, or if you mouse over it, I believe you mouse over it and hit C, it lets you drop it too. You have a flashlight, you can turn it on and off with F. Uh, your main power switch for when you're in your buildings and in your ships, Y. Um, a helmet. Warp drive when you get to having that awesomeness of getting off the planet. I can tell you right now, 
I've only been in this game for uh, probably 37 hours now, off and on. I have not got off the planet yet. Uh, global chat is a period. Your faction chat is a comma. Switch the views, but you know, for first person, third person, it's V. Uh, you rotate your blocks when you go to set them when you're building. Um, your, your X's and your Y's, page up, page down, home, and complete. Insert, those are all for rotating your blocks around. To look around, just your left alt key so you can look around. Uh, when you've, when you've made a blueprint, you can create that blueprint by holding down right alt and the O, or you can paste a blueprint and right alt and P when, you know, when you find a blueprint that you like. In fact, I believe the Steam Workshop now, uh, is up and running for people to, Upload your creations, you know, your ships or your bases, you know, upload it after you created the blueprint for what you have. Upload it, share it with everybody. Maybe somebody will take it and use it on their own. You know, share with, share your creativity. It's a great thing. Uh, like I said, there's blueprint library, which is your F6. Pause. Uh, you show your frame rates, uh, save a screenshot. On your display mode, you know, for your heads up display or your HUD, and then your build tools, which is your end. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And then your miscellaneous stuff, uh, end game cheat or end game hints on or off, however you want to do it. Language English, and if you're playing on a server for multiplayer or something like that, most of your server ports are set at uh, thirty thousand. Now I did create a dedicated server on this machine here, um, which I'm just kind of testing it out, seeing how it works, seeing what it looks like, you know, things like that, seeing what it's going to take to run, and then I'm going to swap it over to my server rack where I have five other servers. So we're going to jump in. Figured this all out. Now you can play a regular game, like here you just click the new game. Uh, name it what you want. You can click uh, creative or survival. Here's your seed. Your seed is a random generation of the map in which you're going to be playing on for all your different worlds. So whatever your seed is that you put in there, you could put a one in there if you want and generate with a one. Or you can... Go with the trusty old 42. I mean, why the hell not? Hell, go with your birthday. Make it your own. It's your birthday planet. Ta-da. Check that shit out. All right, so, needless to say, you put your seed in, set it, or you can click a random one and then set it however you want to do it. I am going to, let's put in... Of the universe. That 42. Now you could do Omnicron, which you have to. Uh, this is a little bit harder. Uh, you need to build oxygen. Um, you really got to get your oxygen up and running with this one right here. Um, when you get your base up and running, I mean, this is for experienced players. It even says here be warned, choose this planet. As a survival start is recommended for experienced players only. There is no oxygen on this planet. So it is what it is. This is easy mode. This is where we're going to start. I like easy. Uh, and then, you know, you got your creative mode. You know, I'll show you creative mode. Um, it basically sets you up. You don't have to worry about food. You don't have to worry about water. Uh, you don't have to worry about your stamina. You know, all that. You don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. It's all good. It's basically, you know, you get a hovercraft and you get a little jumper ship, I call it. And they give you a, a house that they built up 
or a base that they built up so you can see how it's built uh kind of give you a feel of what is what and you can make the world empty or not it's up to you all right so what we're going to do is is we're going to start well let's just call it grim's hosting yeah we'll call it grim's hosting we'll be on survival we're seeding 42 okay hitchhiking all right so and then we're going to start on akura i call it akura i could be wrong in the description phonetically spell it for me all right, so here we go. Find out which plants are edible. It pretty much tells you which plants are edible, which ones are not. So you just go up to the plant. Are you edible? I guess so. We're going to eat you. As this loads, uh, just to let you know, um, I have played this game for approximately 37 hours, and oh dear god, we're gonna crash! Ah! Wow, we found a lot of stuff. We looked right up there on the right hand side. We found some ores and stuff. Bad? Alright, so, to get out of here, we're gonna hit T. Bam, we're out. Now. We need to get all of our stuff out of here before the escape pod disappears. That's the biggest thing. People walk away, they come back, their escape pod's gone, all of their things are gone. Take everything out of your escape pod first. Okay, these little dinosaur looking guys aren't gonna hurt you. Um, wow, we found two iron deposits. There's a lithium deposit. Oh look, there's a dinosaur over there. I call them dinosaurs. I forget what they call them. Alright, so Neil say you can't see these. Can't give you anything. Over here, see that little crosshair just went yellow with a little square in it. You hit T. Bam, you got something. What did we get? Let's open up our inventory with his eye. Oh, take our helmet off, by the way. We don't need uh, to waste our oxygen. So we picked up uh, Alien Plasma. DR1. It's going to be used to make other things. Okay, so here are tech trees. Uh, we get deco blocks passively in order to give you don't have to spend any points on it. Uh, capital vessel, here you're going to be spending your uh, available unlock points right here yeah, for your capital vessel if you're going to use them in there. Uh, right now we're level 1, so really not going to be able to use it for anything. Not going to be buying anything. Everything is pretty much given to you right away. Except for the docking pad and this generator and this little tank and this oxygen. Yada, 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 yada. But that's for a small vessel. Miscellaneously, we automatically get these two. We're, gonna, we're already at level two. Oh, when we came down, we found those things. They got us to level two already. So here we have cargo box and oxygen, oxygen generator or O2 generator. And you have to learn this in order to learn the water generator. And you have to learn this in order to warn the H2O2 generator. Okay? So you can see each thing is a progressive. You have to learn one to learn another. You have to learn hover vessel to learn small vessel. Small vessel to learn capital vessel. You have to learn these in order. Building blocks. Passively, you'll be receiving these within the tech tree as you level up. It's not going to cost you anything. It's automatically going to give it to you. Hover vessel, like I said, aggressively you got to learn one to learn the other, and it's going to cost you points. Same with tools. This flashlight, not so much, but the removal tool, you have to learn that in order to get the color tool, to color your blocks, get the color you want for everything. The filler flattener tool, I'll show you that here in a minute, how that works. Uh, here you have your work light, and in order to work, learn your work light too, this that's outside your base kind of gives you more light. Your work light only kind of goes in one direction. It really sucks. I don't. And then your pistols for your weapons. You got an assault rifle, we'll learn at level 3. 
shotgun at level 5, and the sniper rifle at level 5. Then you get your pulse rifle, minigun, snipers. You know, so you want to learn the other, obviously. I told you this. But uh, it's actually pretty cool. Alright, so let's go back out of here. Let's start building our stuff. And let's find a good spot to put our base. Hi, Mr. Dinosaur. Okay, so this is edible here. They call it a corn dog. I love it. It's funny as hell. I hate corn dogs. I hate hot dogs too. Anyway, you can put that right here. Corn dogs, if you look at it, mouse over, gives you 50 food, zero health, and it perishes in 29 minutes. And then gives you no extra stamina back. So each food or whatever gives you a little bit of something. What it gives you, who knows. Yeah, they're really loud, aren't they? Alright, so what we do then is we come here, click on uh, two, right, or left click our mouse button, bam, we just ate the corn dog. Get a little bugs, little bugs don't bother you either. That's for them all you want. You can't hit them or anything, then they'll come after you. And then there's little blobs that run around, I don't know where they're at, but little blobs. But then you start getting to the flowers, those little guys, there's little flowers that come after you and they'll hurt you pretty bad. They're aggressive, guys, not so much. Okay, so, let's go ahead and I am going to start, let's start this base over here, it's right there, who are you allowed? Alright, oh, you hear him? Hear that? Pistol out. Try to get the drill out. Get the filler flattener out. Now you automat. It does not automatically do any of the things as far as like reloading. You have to reload it physically by pushing the R button to reload. Now what we're hearing. Oh, by the way, here's our views. That's the alt key, you can see. But what we're hearing... I like first person for this game. It works really, really well. You can still you know, do everything. Alright, so... Got some food up real quick. Now, I'm hearing him, but I don't know where he's at. I see our stamina. That purple went down really, really fast for that running I did. Now, that really takes a toll. Hit the J button. Turn your jetpack on. Jetpack around. Oh, look at that. I found copper resource. 270 XP. Right there. Copper. Bam. I'll show you the whole thing here. Oh, pixie sticks. Oh, there's the cannon drone. You see them right there? There's these guys here, these pixie sticks. They give you health back. Not just food, but health. Now, I go after... I go after those cannon drones only because... Or the minigun drones, it doesn't matter. I go after them. Flying across the water with my death pack, yeah. But, oh, that's a minigun drone there. Okay, so there's two drones over here then. Get a cannon drone, and this is a minigun drone. What we're looking at must be a base of. Yeah, all these different little things, you can see something give you something, something don't. I see there's a minigun drone. All that, oh, look, see, we just found a little base over here. Now, I wouldn't recommend going after the bases right away. 
simply because you don't have enough firepower to go after these bases. What is it? Oh no, no, I don't want that one. Oh, by the way, when you're in these filler flatteners or the drills or whatever, and say you use a little bit, about half of it, and you accidentally reload it, you lose that other charges. You don't get to keep it, you lose it. I think it's fucked. Now that looks like something's right over there. But that there, if I'm not mistaken, that base right there got so much wound in it, it's, it's not even funny. I believe that over there is a, um, because I've used 42 before. Yeah, that's the weapons factory there. Weapons factory's got some shit in it. But that over there, if I'm not mistaken, is cut half to another ship. Oh, there's no there. That ship over there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is let's so that I can see them coming. I am gonna build my base right over there. As long as those guys aren't getting close to me, we're all right. But yeah, I believe that's the Titan right there. That's a Titan uh, ship right there, or what's left of it, of it. So, I know that this is gonna go to be you know, just a little bit long. I'm gonna try to edit it the best I can, but there's so much to this game. And I don't want to waste too much of it out. Okay, so we got iron deposits. Got, uh... Yeah, we can get the page from here. So this, uh, won't be a bad little spot right here. Oh, see, you hear that noise? That's your stamina is completely drained out. So you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull out my filler flattener. Is the filler flattener, what it does is, is it, one, it fills up the land, makes it bigger for you. Or, I don't remember, the right, yeah, the right, or left button is to bring it up, left, right button is to bring it down. See? Bring it down. Bring it down. Now, see, I'm setting at a certain level right now. So, like, I'm standing right here. It's going to flat me level in which I'm standing at right now. See this? Flattening it out. Flattening it all out. Very, very loud. So this is very, very loud, but this is flattening it out to where I'm at. So as long as I stay
building this all up so that when I put my blocks down, I have an even surface to build on. Right, so you guys get the idea of this part of it. Now, I'm going to stand on this nice flat spot right here. Now, I'm going to make sure that everything gets leveled out. nice and level this is getting now we're just gonna get, I'm gonna do this all the way I'm gonna make this whole thing level right there oh my charge is done now I hit my reload you don't want to reload too soon or you lose out on your charges So, as you can see, I've leveled it out pretty good. A couple of little spots here and there, but that's not going to make a big dip. Alright, now, what my next step is, like, it should have been my first step, but I didn't do it, is let's open up our inventory. Let's go ahead and put our survival constructor down and our O2 generator. O2 generator is not too important at this point right now. But it will become very important later on. So we're going to put that there. Let's close out. Four. Now let's put it. Um, too close to the place it right here. Now, T to open it to get into your inventory. Now we're going to place everything that we don't need right away in. So let's hit the shift key and. Left click. Everything else that we are not going to do at this point. Now the four has to go in there. It's going to go in. I don't need to put the four plants in there. Yet. See, this has a perish time as well. It gives you health back, so this is a pretty good thing. Alright, so let's go ahead and start making things. Alright, so here, you hold the shift key down. You're going to create of an item okay but if you click it only just once it makes one item you hold down shift key it makes 10 items now that it's off click it with a shift it takes 10 away or you click it once it takes it away but once you turn it on you can't take anything out of queue if you've miscued something you got to shut the constructor off 
click on what you want to take out and then start your constructor up again okay so we're going to go ahead and turn our constructor on we need metal plates all right so we're going to start metal plates um let's do 10 cables 10 electronics 10 control devices um let's do some 10 metal components and 10 pipes okay actually no don't want to do that so we hit off 10 shift shift click shift click shift click shift click all off let's take some of these out now we already have 30 plates made but to start our base starter block we need eight hull blocks to make eight hull blocks you need two metal plates so let's go ahead and let's do one two four five six seven eight turn it on after it makes eight we already have four in there we click base starter it's going to go ahead and construct it for us we'll get our base starter set up and going now you don't have to be in there in order to work it so we can go do other things now this water or this uh, o2 maker here you just we're just going to place it in the water because it has to have water in order to work it draws oxygen out of the water okay see side see there it's the base starter block bam we have a base starter block go ahead and put our corn dogs on here go ahead and eat those up i really don't like the sound that he makes when he eats it sounds like he's eating with his mouth open oh. All right, so we need more hull blocks, so there's more. All right, so let's go ahead and put this on our hot bar. We'll use it. We have six. See how it's red and it's not going to let us place? But as soon as it turns blue, we can place it. See how it's nice and blue right there? Oh, this one you can't flip these here so all right so we can just move ourselves to be in line i'm kind of full west south bam there it is new base created jump pack is on so we're going to jump up here onto the top now you can see that way over there that's the other stuff uh the uh the titan the ms titan i believe it's called i believe that's the rear half of it, it might be the front half i'm not sure but anyway this is your basics of getting started now go over here open it up we have seven blocks remember we were making 10 but we didn't have enough of these metal plates to make the blocks so we're going to go ahead and Let's hit up uh, another 50, and each one of these creates 10, so that's going to give us 500. Make blocks. All right. So what I'm going to do now, first thing first, is. Created our little bit extra expanding on the base a little bit. We're going to keep on expanding it out until we get it out over the water a little bit. That's why we're going to go in here. Let's hit this up and make um, two. Thirty blocks. Got thirty blocks. Let's put 
work right here. All this, we don't need it. So we are going to place it where we are not going to. Right? Oh, a small med kit. Let's put it down here. Antidote pills just in case we get something that makes us sick and we're going to need it. All this here. Let's put the food here. Back there. Alright, so this work light, I'll show you, is kind of crummy. So. Uh, see, it only gives us uh, that little bit of a light. A little bit of a light here. Kind of sucks, but... Alright, I guess. Now this constructor is very slow in comparison to the advanced structures that we're going to set up, right? These here, this large constructor, works faster than the, the starter constructor. So when we get into building things, it's going to make it a little bit better. But in order to get power to our base to run this, we need to get a small generator and a small fuel tank set up. See, this requires two computers, three electronics, all these extra things. So that's all. Oh, look, there's a the little slime guy in there. Little slime guy right there. I'm actually going to save my bullets. I need to get stuff from those guys over there. <laughs> Nothing yet. Alright, so... Since that's still working there... What I am going to do... Is we're gonna go and drill. Now, this is all in meters. I don't have a very good editing software, so this can't be really edited too easily. So, um, I'll see what I can do about making breakpoints in it to let you guys kind of just skip on to what you want to do. Um, so I apologize for this, but. It's just, I'm not one of those guys that has all those things like everybody else does. I apologize. Alright, so we're getting really, really close here, peeps. Iron ore is just over the hill here. And there it is, pretty much, right? Yeah. So we can just get as close as we need to there, kind of right on top of it. So what I like to do is I like to come at it from an angle a little bit. So let's go ahead and we're gonna it's kinda hard to hear, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just come in at an angle and that way we can get in and out. Looking for baddies, hearing.
All right, so here we go with the ore. See, we got quite a bit of it so far here. And we got some stone. The stone comes in handy for making stone dust, which will help us build fertilizer and pots. And you'll notice the XP on the side over here on the left as it see it goes up as we get stuff as we as we find things it keeps going up and keeps going up. Picking up more. Yeah, it forces you to keep picking it up, whereas other games it just automatically gives it to you. So, you know, you kind of got to get past that, I guess. Okay, so let me show you the map here. The map is actually a pretty cool looking map. You have a star map and then you got the world map. So right now we are here. Iron deposit. This here is an iron deposit. That's a Prometheum deposit. Here is a copper deposit. Here's that Epsilon weapons factory that we've seen in the distance. Now right over here is going to be that Titan that we've seen kind of setting on, but we didn't get close enough. For it to say that, hey, we found it. Now, this is where our base is at. Right here. Here. So, this is uh, pretty simple. Now, there's resources all over here. Now, here we so far found 2 of 7, 0 of 5, 1 of 5, 1 of 6, 0 of 4, and 0 of 4. Now, we find them all. We get it all done up. We can, if we get enough, we can get off this planet. Yes, I know. That's good awesome but as it stands right now we're just uh working what we got here right now. okay all right now we have collected 160 ore and six crushed stone and corn dog too not like that all right so now we're just gonna keep picking up more Oh, our charges are out. Time to recharge.
Damn, there's another level. Check that shit out. Alright, so let's start picking all this up. Like I said, some of it is rock, some of it is the iron ore. Alright, let's, let's see what else we got. Oh no, none of it was stone, the rest of it was just iron ore. Alright, we got 260 iron ore, so let's go ahead and head out of here. As you can see, the reason why I go at the angle is it makes it easier to get in and out. A lot of people, they find that, they get straight over the top of it, and they just start drilling straight down. Before they know it, they can't get back out. Got to just full tip, you know, just kind of come at it from an angle. Work your way so that you can get yourself a, an opening to come right back out again. Make it pretty simple. Back out. Now, you'll see when you get your base to a certain point, the drones come after you. They start, the aliens send drones after you to basically stop you. But we're not going to let them. Now, I have not done a let's play yet for any of these games that I've got. I just do just streams with just playing the game. You know, I don't have a season one, I don't have a season two. I mean, I just have, I just have the game. I just have a, you know, let's play the game. Let's do this, let's do that, you know. And, and I usually involve my viewers my followers and stream, you know, I'm like, hey guys, play this game, you know, and if you've ever got it, they're more than welcome to come in and play the game with us. Alright, so we have 30 blocks made. So we're going to go ahead and put the crushed stone in there, then we're going to put the iron ore in there. Let's, um... Okay, so it's you get 10 out, but you have to put 5 iron ore in. So we have 260. So if we do 50, 1, 52, 50, 55, 60, that's our 260 ore, and we'll get all these ingots out. We've got a crap ton of ingots coming in place. So. All right, so we got 30 blocks. Let's go ahead and let's put these puppies in. Here, like now, I am. I have a generic build for my beginning base. I always have, and I guess I always will. I'm predictable with my base building. As far as this is fine. Oh. Alright, so. And up underneath is where I actually put stuff. I put stuff up underneath. Uh. Now you can hold the button down and then just follow all the way across and it will complete that whole line for you just like that. That's actually pretty cool. That's something new that they put in I guess, so I appreciate that. One, four, five, six. Last block and a few more for this side to finish that off. I am going to do is I like to do is I like to now build one of each of these and I start with the smallest of the two of the three here and that would be all fuel tank. Now you could write this down however you want. I write it down. Not me, I know what I need. I need four electronics, 
four metal components. I need four electronic, four metal components, and three cables. That's for the one. Now I need twelve metal components, and you know that this is what gets really expensive. This part right here, and this is where the drones come into play. So let's go ahead and just do. Oh, oh shit. Again, turn it off. Click it out. Done. Like that. Click it back on. Now, we gotta come over here. We need. We need three cables. One, two, three. We need four metal components. Each one of these puts out two. So there's two, four. And four electronics. One, two, three, four. Then we can come back here and then create this. So look at that. This will this will make, this will make, this will make. Then this will have everything it needs to make and then it'll make it. Then we'll do the exact same thing for this. But I know we can get a reactor core and a bunch of this other stuff from the drones. So we're gonna go after a drone. Okay? So let's close that out. Now, if you attack the weapons factory here, they're going to go ahead and they're going to say, okay, we're going to send troops over, they're going to send troops over and send troops over. We can't afford that. We do not have any of the things to take care of that. You're loud, shut up. Um, they're not hard, but they're not easy either. Now we're going to put our helmet on. So we're going to put our helmet on and we're going to swim over there. Oh, let me Shut off. All right, so now we're above water. We can turn, take our helmet off again. We just need to get one or two of these drones and take them out. And I have a couple of different ways of taking care of them, but when it comes to where we're at. I take care of them um, from underwater. I draw them to the water, and then I take care of them underwater, get everything they got in them, and then I go back to my base. Now remember, this is single player. There is a multiplayer, and I'll show you that one here. On this. Now I know these run long and I apologize, but it's hard to just say uh, A, B, C, D and you're done for these games. Uh, you, you as the person wanting to buy this game wants to know what has this game got to offer me? in the way of gameplay, of challenges, of whatever I want to know. And that's what I'm trying to give you guys. I want to do the best job possible to let you guys know, hey, this game is this, this game is that. And you see, we got another, we got two more minigun drones over there, it's like stacked on. You got a cannon drone there, and then you've got a minigun drone here. This. Now those cannons up there are gonna light our rear ends up if we're not careful. Now see, they're coming towards us now. I think they see us. Yep, they do. Let's put our helmet on. Now. Come at 
me, bro. See, enemy troops are coming up. See those records, computers, all those neat little things we need. Uh oh. This is not what I wanted. They give me chills every time I hear them. Oh! Time to go back underwater. Transport coming in. Oh, look at all the goodies. Get the hell out of Dodge, peeps. Ooh. One of the aliens right there. Now, they're just like the little minion type aliens. They're not the, uh... I'm out. Peace.
Now we can swim faster and our jetpack is off, but we run out of stamina doing that. And we gotta take our helmet off too. Or we waste oxygen. You know what I mean? That's pretty difficult like that, you know? So, you know, it's one of those things, you just can't go in there with a pistol, bla guns are blazing, you just can't do it. Now. That's just on single player. Multiplayer, I think it's a little bit more difficult. Multiplayer, there are many different types of servers. Uh, I'm just testing one right now to see how well that works before I transfer it over to our server rack. See, and the sun comes up if you look at our map here on the right hand side. And if you look right underneath it, it has like the sun and the arrow pointing up. It's got three minutes and 30 seconds basically. And then once the sun comes up, and then it'll tell us how long it is till the sun goes down. Okay. See, we need food. We're running really low on food. Emergency food uh, in, in slot 7 there will bring us pretty much all the way back up if we don't want to use our other food that we already have. Now that island is a boogeyman's island now. Gotta be careful going up to that. Yeah, light really kind of sucks, if you ask me. Now, all the goodies that we got. Let's put it in there. Do we have enough? Do we already have a small fuel tank? Put that right there. So we need three control devices and three electronics. Well, under the electronics department, we have two already. And the control devices... We have four motors, holy crap. Okay. Electronics and control devices. Control devices, control devices. We have one control device. We need to make one more control device and one more electronics. So control device will take that. One more electronics, take that, and we come back over to here, and then we do one more of those. Okay, let's go ahead and place our... We're placing this. This is what I do. This keeps it out of harm's way. Bam, right there. This keeps it so that they can't destroy it when they, when they come after your base. Now, small generator, again, we'll put that underneath the base. Keeps things away from it. Let's create... Create 50 blocks. I know we're going to use them all, so... So we have a small generator. Let's place our small generator. Now we can flip it. Do pretty much anything we want it to do. Bam. Right there. We have a small generator. We have fuel tank. 
go here. Let us create these fuel tanks. On their way to come destroy my base. Oops, we are not going to allow that. Three high. Hi. I'm ready. Oh, they're probably going to be coming from there, right there. Going to be coming from that way. So I got to be careful. Seven. Got to eat one of those. I took it off too soon. Okay, so... Normally they only send one out, but I've seen them do two. 
I've seen him do two before, so. But that is the beginning of a base, the box, and it's our box, our base. Oh, take the helmet off. Let's see, do we have enough? Let's put that back down. We need two control devices, five electronics, and ten metal components. So metal components, how many do we have? We only have three. So let's make enough to do three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let's thirteen them. Right? Okay, so then we need five electronics. We have two. Three, four, five. Control devices. We have one. And two. What's that? Control device. Bam. Large constructor. Now, we're out of the way of these guys here, so let's go ahead and see what you, oh, I need to do. Go in there, see you got raw meat, alien parts, and alien tubes. The raw meat you can use to make food. So we just dump these off in here like this go to the food section make two salamis there we go that's going to give us food back uh, and a little bit of health just a little bit but it's still better than nothing right now our large constructor is almost done I put a corn dog in here let's go ahead and eat the corn dog Almost done. All right, here we go now. Let's place this bad boy in here. I'm gonna place it right over the top of my core because if they destroy my core, then my base no longer works. So I gotta protect my core at all costs. Seeing we're at three high, three high puts it just high enough. Right there, see that? Just high enough. All right, now. Control panel. Everything is together. We can now power our base. Bam, base is powered. Now, we're going to name the base Rims. And enter. All right, now the base is called Grim's Base. How far back? Do you? Oh, see there? There's Grim's Place. See that? That's awesome. Now we can come over here. 
got our salami, we got all this, we can take all this out now. Right there, and I'll show you how that works. Press the phone then. Now, see how we can make advanced CPUs, flux coils, power coils. Now, so that's going to be something. We can make lights now for the inside, make O2 tanks, uh, automatic doors. Uh, now we can make food processors. Right? over here we got all this neat stuff we can make now. These are all hall blocks. They hold a lot more mass versus the hall walls. Hall walls don't hold as much as you can see. Now check out pistol and drill, drill cartridges and bullets and all O2 bottles. Decorator blocks. The automatic door. Go to our inventory, our tech tree. We have all these points because we're level 5 now, peeps. Alright, for our base. Let's make um, plant lights unlock, elevator blocks unlock. Tools, move and repair unlock. Filler flattener if we want to make the cartridges for it. I'm not too worried about that right now. The assault rifle is what I want to unlock right now. Now we can either build a small vessel or a hover vessel. I think I'm going to go with a small vessel for right now. Unlock. Unlock. Generator. Fuel tank. O2 tank. Let's do a Gatlin gun. Our first cockpit. Our uh, I think I'm going to stick with that one and save the points. Gatling gun, we're going to keep that because we're going to need that for other things. But for weapons, I need... Oh. Cargo box. Box. All ammo box unlock. Got two drones incoming. They almost got me.
if there's any bullets in this thing. Sixty. Didn't have much in it. Woo, you almost got me, bro. See, you gotta be careful. all these extra little things but what I want is I want my rifle I need one electronics and five metal components ship there. Usually about the second night or so is when you start seeing the plants stuff coming out. Right off. That's what I was doing it for with the Gatlin. That's right. That's why I need it. So I got 250 plus that makes it 75 in rounds.
That's my goal right there. That there is my goal as well. You need to get inside that base and disable it so that I can start taking shit out of there. Alright, so peeps, uh, this is a hole in the ceiling. This is my little starter base. You know, it's nothing fancy, but it gets everything up and running. As you can see, there are little tips and tricks and tactics that can be done to further your progress, and I say use the ability to take those SOBs out soon to make your base faster, to make your generator, to make all these different things faster, more, more quickly, that's the word, more quickly, so you can do that kind of thing, okay? So, uh, this is Empyrean, Survival, Galactic Survival, excuse me. And uh, they update regularly. Um, it's not every week, it's not every day, but it is kind of regularly once a month. They come out with some kind of a little patch, whether it's, you know, 100 megabytes or 50 megabytes or, you know, 200 megabytes, whatever. They come out they, and they like to stay up to date with you guys. So, but, uh, if you're on single player, you have this ability to come over here and click save. Your game has been saved. Then you just come over here and then you just click the exit button. Now the multiplayer portion of it is just pretty much this right here. Now we're going to hide incompatible builds because the other CNG gaming is my server for ARC. That you've seen on the list there. But uh, this is my LAN. It's the same as this one right here. It's local right here on my computer. Uh, that I am playing this game on as we speak. Um, there are a lot of ones that are locked, but then if you come over here, you click uh, hide password protected. There are plenty of them here. to sit there, ping. The ping will be the closest one to you, is the smallest. So, you know, kind of just can go with that. There are a lot of servers out there. The people are starting to really catch on to this game. Um, Obviously, the bigger the ping, the further away they are from you. Now, Empyrean has their own server. Um, it is a test server where they do a lot of the testing and stuff. Go on that server. Hit it up. Um, let me see if I can find it for you. Here it is. This is it right here. The Elan. Studios official public test server. This is the public test server. It is kind of a little bit of a distance away from me with 171 ping But you get in there you can see coming some of the new stuff that's coming what they're working on uh, The developers are actually in the game itself when you're playing the game. They're actually in the game um, You give them feedback kind of like right then and there. Hey, this just happened and they start working on it. They start getting in there and they get their hands dirty. It's actually really cool. But this is their official test server right here. It's Elon Studios official public test server. Okay. So I'd like to thank everybody for checking out this little bit of my little review, which wasn't really that little, it's an hour and 21 minutes of a review, but the gameplay, it's pretty consistent. It's never, uh, I mean, you do, it, it does have randomness to when the drones come after you, when this happens, when that happens, but you can pretty much build where you want, when you want, um, you know. You can do it however you want to play this game. It's your game. Play it your way. You don't have to play it anybody else's way. So, with that being said, 
like I always say, friends don't let friends game alone. Peace.